Are you one of these black ladies out here who is highly independent and struggling with relationships because you keep picking the not right man? Well, you better watch this video. I'm going to teach you how to pick the not wrong man. You understand? Babsy here and I'm doing a quick video today something a little different everybody pressuring my life oh god but I get this question all the time about dating and men and independent black woman and woman hear me roar and burning bras and all these kinds of things so I'm gonna give you my take on how you gonna be a black woman in this day and age and get the not wrong man you understand what I'm saying? So I ain't saying gonna be the right man. But just make sure it's not the wrong man. You understand what I mean? But first, make sure you are following me on Instagram. My name is Strictly Babsy over there. As well as on Facebook, I am Babsy at large with that blue verification check mark. You understand what's going on? So let me quickly talk to you about the struggles I've had as being Babsy, the Don Gargon ish Isha. Because I'm not a man. But because I'm so motherfucking strong out here, people always like, Babsy, <coughs> how you got a man and you just get on like your bounty killer, Isha? Well, there's a little secret. I went through hell for the last 20 years with men, actually. We're close to that. Somewhere around that. A decade and a half, I'd say. But I'll tell you what really um, I struggled with because as a youngster growing up, um, I give my hats off to my father and my mother. I feel like they did the best that they could and they did an exceptional job. My father was the one who stayed home with my brother and I in the evenings. My mom worked. So my dad was really the one that gave me all his ideology. So when I'm six years old and I come home and I'm like, Jack and Jill went up the hill. Fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. And my dad's like, what the rascal is that that you now say? And I'm like, oh, nursery rhyme at school I learned today. Repeat the thing from a lemme hear ya. So now I'm like, yo, Brad's dog, yote. It's a nursery rhyme, you gonna be all right? No, which one you is in this story? You is Jack or you is Jill? Oh, I gotta pick up character? Well, I would assume I was Jill. So you telling me you got rolled down behind the hill, behind this man that dropped down and broke your crown, and you don't know to not break your crown behind the man? Dog, no, I'm six. So really and truly from day one, I've always had that conditioning like, yo, be an independent woman, try to get your education, try to aim for best, to have the best things in life and do what you gotta do. So where I had issues was because my family made me drop this whole domesticated part of life. So they were like, you ain't baking no bread, you ain't named Aunt Jemima, don't be in here washing no dishes, we gonna get a dishwasher, allow the chores thing, get straight and get an education and get a very good job in life that was where I was always so I never got the counseling of the counterpart man that would be the man to me so I was just always like I gotta be I gotta be I gotta be which is why I struggled so much in my earlier years um, dating men because I date West Indian men primarily so you know they like oh my mama she baked bread she made fish cakes she does do this and I'm like yeah I got a physics exam tomorrow, bruh. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I can get you some ramen and some macaroni and cheese. Like, what do you mean? So there was always pressure on me from very early with guys that I would be dating. They're like, yo, get up and make me something. Yo, I said I want some food. Yo, we can go over to the island mix it. Get some, like, what are you talking about make food? I'm busy. And a lot of what I struggled with was guys that were just always trying to get me to not aim to be great so it was like drop school forget about your exam let's go to this dance and party no 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 i need my education i don't care what you want to do but i need my education so me and a lot of guys didn't get along in my earlier 20s because it was just always that butthead like yo i want somebody to make me some cuckoo and flying fish well go home to your mother and ask she to make some for me you understand so i never had that whole 
the man that's in your life is important and understand who he is which is why I want to do this video today if you're a woman that's trying to aim to be great in anything and being great isn't necessarily being a celebrity it's being you know an entrepreneur and owning hair salons and barber shops and these kinds of things that is success I will never tell anybody that, you know what, you know, even being the best bread, bread baker in the world, that is success. There are people out here making money selling bread. But what I want to say to you is, as women, a lot of times as being independent, we're conditioned to believe we don't need a man. You don't need a man. You don't need a man. And that's fine. I don't need a man. But now that I have the right man, <laughs> the not wrong man, I see the difference in my life substantially. So I've never had a man before who supported Babsy a thousand and ten percent. All of the men I've ever had were okay to some extent and then things changed down the line. So they were actually trying to pull down the blogging. Oh, you don't have time for me. Oh, well, it's either your blogging or me. So they was like, bye, <laughs> bye. And it's like, no one ever really wanted to be that supportive person. And now that I have somebody that is a thousand and ten percent supportive in my blogging, I see the difference. So having Kevin be there and being a marketing expert and understanding these things, I don't need Kevin, but he's such a great commodity. I ain't losing Kevin. You know what I mean? So I realize now that yeah, I don't need a man and yeah, I can do these things on my own, but how much um, more progressive I can be if I have the right man beside me. So all these years I've always had the wrong man, the wrong kind of man. And because I'm a person that, you know, had a bit of money and I was okay, I'd always end up with these guys that wanted to become financially dependent. And then it was like, okay, well, you don't want to work. Well, what do you want to do? Oh, you want to sit home and look cute and then buy a $500 belt and then walk down the road and then drive my Mercedes and flex off. No, that's not really what your career path is supposed to be, sweetheart. What do you want to do? So it was like, as a woman, I felt like, okay, I'm going to help my man, help my man. But then I got in problems where these men became 1,010% dependent. And they're like, yeah, I need money to go to, I need money. Yo, bro, get a job. You understand? So, ladies, all I can say to you is when you are in a position that you know you are destined to be great, you want to be great, you're thinking about being great, don't get involved with the wrong kind of man. Men that are jealous, men that are emotionally unstable, they, they come in many forms. Um, men that are not um, good fathers to their present day children. You will find out quickly how bad they will be when you get a child with them. Don't ever see a man disrespecting his baby mom and feel like, oh, that's just the two of them. No, 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 no. Don't get involved with a man that seems to have zero ambition. If you want to own 10 mechanic stores, that's fine. But these guys that come and start talking about Babylon system and yo, run hard as cunt. Them men day is fucking problems. Them men looking to fucking cock up the foot and be lazy. And a lot of these West Indian men, I'm telling you, the pressure to be this housewife and cook and do whatever, that worked for their mom, that worked for my mom, that don't work for my era. I'm too busy out here trying to do a million and one things. I can't be sitting at home making oxtail for five and six hours on a Sunday. I got videos to edit, people to call, and stuff to do. So I need a guy that or a man that can understand that, you know what, I may not necessarily be cooking dinner every single day. When I get a chance, I might make something. You know what can make a mean curry chicken. <laughs> but yeah, don't get caught up thinking that I don't need a man, I don't need a man, and then take any kind of man that comes along. Always know that the man that's on your arm is gonna represent you to 1,010%. So if your man is a drug dealer, a thief, a whore, a rapist, that is going to be instilled in your life. And whatever you have that's positive, that man is gonna bring it down if he's negative. You cannot have a positive and a negative and make a positive. So understand the man on your arm is going to dictate how great and how far you actually will get because you will need support and you will need help and as much as we feel like we don't need anybody we do need somebody to lean on we all need somebody to lean on Whoa, right I would have put the soca version go down and walk up there yeah anyway people 
Your girl Babsy here. Hope this helps. Ladies, aim high. Get the man beside you to aim high as well. Stop dealing with these rab scrap men. The minute you start hearing them telling you, you can't this and you can't that, change your locks and lock them out the fucking house. Y'all understand? Mwah. Love, wanna. Bye. Some people